Ancient Egypt was one of the most powerful civilizations ever. It started in 3150 BC until about 30 BC, so it lasted around 3,000 years. This civilization was advanced in math and astrology, capable of incredible feats of engineering and, on occasion, weren't afraid to wear a wig and throw on some makeup. But what about the pharaohs and the mysteries of these massive pyramids, the ruins, the sacred burial grounds, and yes, possible alien contact? It's very heavy. Oh my God. These findings are still happening today. However, some will leave you astounded, confused, and certainly entertained. These videos just might bring out the archaeologist in all of us. Here are 15 mysterious things discovered in Egypt. <laughs> mysterious black boxes. These 24 coffin-shaped black boxes were found buried in a hillside just 12 miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza recently, weighing in at over 100 tons and made of granite. And they're known as the Serapium of Saqqara. And because of the extreme skillfulness in the construction, some experts think that they were not built by ancient man. Then who built them? Would you believe that some people say that the mysterious black boxes were left behind by aliens? The mighty pharaohs of the period dominated the world for over three millenniums. When their reign came to an end, they left a huge wealth of architecture, artifacts like these. Perhaps these black angular tombs are their connection to these so-called aliens. And why are we just now finding them? There could be even more technologically advanced artifacts like these out there made by these rumored aliens from the past. In Egyptian tradition, these are known as religious buildings in dedication to the gods. Could these so-called gods be the extraterrestrials who built these boxes? So many questions. While the existence of the boxes still remains a mystery, they were clearly very important. And incredibly, they remained sealed for thousands of years. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Whenever you hear about important excavations and significant archaeological digs, it's almost always in Egypt. But probably never do the artifacts or monuments they remove from the earth need to be caged. Any guesses on what exactly is in this cage? We're thinking this isn't an artifact at all, but the removal of some sort of Egyptian pest. Scientists have recently discovered the remains of a small, skunk-sized rodent with a fearsome set of teeth that roamed what is now modern-day Egypt 34 million years ago. It was called a Masrosector Nananubis, which translates to Egyptian slicer. Nananubis comes from Anubis, the Egyptian god of the afterlife, with a canine head. That's Egypt for you, but maybe this species has returned. Maybe the slicer rodent still exists. How would you handle a skunk-sized rat? Let the world know in the comments below and use the hashtag missing topic when you do. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? World's oldest cheese. A group of researchers discovered some ancient cheese recently inside the tomb of an ancient Egyptian. And now it's proved to be one of the oldest cheeses ever discovered. The archaeologists found a solid whitish mass in one of the jars which they suspected was food, but were unsure which kind. It was cheese, dating from 3200 years ago. Unfortunately, even though cheese is supposed to get tastier with age, like fine wine, this one was cursed with some funky bacteria. The researchers say the bacterium could cause an infectious disease that comes from consuming unpasteurized dairy products. Symptoms include fever, sweating, and muscle aches, and the disease still exists today. If confirmed, it would be the oldest evidence of such a case. However, the discovery is significant as there has been no previous evidence of ancient Egyptian cheese production. As for the tomb where the cheese was found, it belonged to an Egyptian official who was mayor of the ancient city of Memphis. The burial site at the Saqqara necropolis near Cairo was first unearthed in 1885. But after being lost to shifting sands, it was rediscovered recently. And that's how we found the world's oldest chunk of funky cheese. <laughs> Meteorite Dagger Daggers like this incredible ancient specimen, plus axes and various jewelry, made from rare metal during ancient Egypt's prime are out of this world, literally. Egyptologists discovered that artisans from this period crafted these metal artifacts with materials from outer space, carried to Earth by meteorites. Cool, right? They tested these objects and it was determined that they were made with iron containing a high percentage of nickel and traces of cobalt. 
Experts knew right away that this was a characteristic found in many of the meteorites that have rained down on Earth for billions of years, and still do. The ancient Egyptians were fascinated by the stars and knew a great deal about them, and experts believe that an iron-rich meteor may have crashed to Earth, which could be the only source of this unusually pure metal. Then again, other people believe ancient Egyptians made contact with aliens. There also has been speculation that ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs show this to be possible. So ask yourself, is this evidence that the Egyptians had contact with extraterrestrials? Several theories make references to alien technology, while another says the daggers and the other objects came from the supposed offspring of the sons of God, referred to in many ancient holy texts. <laughs> Pharaoh Ramses II statue Can you imagine an ancient royal relic, a colossus statue of a pharaoh made out of precious materials, found in the gutter in Egypt? That's exactly what happened. Archaeologists dug up a 26-foot statue submerged in a Cairo slum that they say depicts Pharaoh Ramses II, who ruled Egypt more than 3,000 years ago. The discovery, held as one of the most important ever, was made near the ruins of Ramses' temple in the ancient city of Heliopolis, which today is modern-day Cairo. So it makes sense they're connected. The Pharaoh, also known as Ramses the Great, ruled for over 65 years. He had several military expeditions and expanded the Egyptian empire to stretch from Syria to the east to Nubia in the south. Plus, the Sun Temple in this ancient city was founded by the famous pharaoh. It was one of the largest temples in Egypt, and that's why archaeologists think the statue is indeed the famous pharaoh. So when this turned up, archaeologists, officials, local residents, and the media lined up to get a look as a massive crane pulled the statue's head out of the water among unfinished buildings and mud roads. Thankfully, it was moved to the entrance of the Grand Egyptian Museum near the pyramids in Giza where it belongs. <laughs> Dendera light bulbs. This image is found on three stone reliefs in an Egyptian temple and, at first, could be construed as a light bulb with a socket at one end, a cable traveling underneath, and a snake-shaped cord filament inside. Can you see it? It's called the Dendera light. In the representation of the so-called ancient light bulb, a priest is shown holding up the lamp part and a few smaller figures are seen below it. And that's why the experts are stumped. Of course, the myths surrounding these light bulbs have nothing to say about actual electricity, and there's no evidence to substantiate their use by Egyptians. Yet some believers are still unwilling to entirely give up on the idea that it is, in fact, a light bulb. However, on the contrary, it's suggested by some that the light bulbs are, in fact, lotus flower bulbs. According to one myth, an Egyptian god came into existence being born out of a lotus flower that blossomed at dawn and at the beginning of every year. And then there's the theory that the priest performed a ritual that included a light show during the New Year celebrations. And this part got lit, literally. So the Dendera light is not an artifact or potential ancient technology, but the depiction of such an artifact on a wall in one of the best preserved ancient temples in Egypt. <laughs> ancient wigs. Hair is a really big deal, now and even then. Although only recently the subject of serious study, hair and its grooming can be one of the best ways of gaining an understanding of past peoples, especially the ancient Egyptians. These forms of adornment and grooming regimes provide a great way of studying these cultures. Wigs were part of daily life in ancient Egypt. Both men and women could wear them, and the nicest wigs were made from human hair. They were also the most expensive, much like today. The elite of this culture put hair's value in the same category as gold. For the middle class, particularly those who couldn't afford wigs made completely out of human hair, they would purchase a blended wig, which was constructed of part human hair, part vegetable fibers, or sheep's wool. But the absolute cheapest wigs were made out of 100% vegetable fibers, but all of the wigs served a practical purpose. A wig shielded the shaven or cropped head from the harmful effects of direct sunlight, Unlike a headscarf, its mesh-like foundation base allowed body heat to escape. The practice of wig wearing also maintained high levels of cleanliness, reducing the incidence of head lice whose need to live closely to the scalp's blood supply as their food source. Plus, a wig could be removed at any time. Makes sense, right? The oldest brewery in the world. You won't believe what archaeologists have unearthed. The world's oldest known beer factory. Dating back about 5,000 years in an ancient burial ground in Egypt's desert, they found about 40 pots used to heat a mixture of grain and water to make, you guessed it, beer. 
Who knew beer was even popular amongst the ancient Egyptians? The brewery consisted of eight larger areas, each 65 feet long and containing about 40 pots arranged in rows. A mixture of grains and water was heated in these vats and was thought to have been produced beer on a very large scale, about 5,000 gallons at a time. And this used to be one of the oldest cities in ancient Egypt and is home to huge burial grounds and sacred temples, one of the country's most popular tourist sites. The brewery may have been built in this place specifically to supply these ancient royal rituals and for drinking at the funerals of the pharaohs of Egypt. And there's evidence found during excavations here that beer was consumed and sacrificial rites as well. But experts agree the brewery is likely to date back to the era of King Narmer. Many scholars consider him the unifier of Egypt and founder of the first dynasty and in turn the first king of a unified Egypt. Guess he loved beer too. <laughs> The Lost Papyra This group of manuscripts was first discovered during the late 19th and early 20th centuries at an ancient rubbish dump in Egypt. The manuscripts date from the 3rd century BC and Roman periods of Egyptian history from 32 BC to the Muslim conquest of Egypt in 640 AD. So they're very, very important. The collection comprises thousands of papyrus texts from ancient Egypt and is the largest collection of papyri like this in the world. Most of the ancient documents found consist mainly of public and private documents, codes, official correspondence, census returns, tax assessments, petitions, court records, sales, leases, wills, bills, inventories, horoscopes, and private letters as well. There's a lot of useful information. It represents the random work of seven centuries of Greco-Egyptian life. Since then, scholars have worked continuously to catalog, decipher, and publish this material. The first volume of the Lost Papyri appeared in 1898. The documents provide grassroots evidence for the law, society, economy, and culture of Egypt. And so far, over 5,000 have been published to date in the series, all with translations and commentaries in English. <laughs> the Rosetta Stone In July 1799, a French soldier discovered a black basalt slab inscribed with ancient writing near the town of Rosetta about 35 miles east of Alexandria, Egypt. The irregularly shaped stone contained fragments of passages written in three different scripts. Of the three languages on the stone, the first was hieroglyphic, which was the script used for important or religious documents. The second was the common script of Egypt. The third was Greek, which was the language of the rulers of Egypt at the time. The Rosetta Stone was written like this so that the priests, government officials, and rulers of Egypt could read what it said. The story goes like this. When Napoleon, a French emperor known for his enlightened view of education, art, and culture invaded Egypt in 1798, he took along a group of scholars and told them to seize all important cultural artifacts they could. But one of his soldiers was aware of this order when he found the basalt stone, almost four feet long and two and a half feet wide. Upon Napoleon's defeat, the stone became the property of the British along with other antiquities that the French had found. The Rosetta Stone now resides in the British Museum in London for people around the world to enjoy. Ancient Zoo Check out this incredible 6,000-year-old find, Egypt's forgotten city, which experts think could be linked with the birth of the ancient civilization, has been re-excavated. They found evidence of the world's first zoo. Strange animal burials point to the existence of a large exotic menagerie of creatures with 10 dogs, a baby hippo, a cow and a calf, and an elephant. The tally for this ancient zoo now stands at 112 critters, including two elephants, three hippos, 11 baboons, and six wild cats. And they were held in high regard when they were alive. The animals even got special treatment in death. Many of these animals had been buried in human fashion and accompanied by a human figurine for companionship in the afterlife. Guess they were animal lovers like us. This place was the religious and political capital of Upper Egypt at the end of the prehistoric era between 3200 BC and 2686 BC. But the first settlement of this forgotten city may date back more than 6,000 years ago. The first evidence of its ruins was excavated towards the end of the 19th century by archeologists who theorized the city had at least 5,000 and possibly as many as 10,000 inhabitants at its height. Certainly some of these people had pets, so it makes sense that the capital city might have a larger collection of exotic animals for everyone to appreciate. Hmm. Ancient Burial Grounds Egyptian experts recently announced the discovery of more treasures at the Saqqara Necropolis south of Cairo, including an ancient funerary temple. 
more than 100 intact coffins, many of which can be traced back 3,000 years to the New Kingdom period, were found as well. The vast burial grounds sit in what was once a place called Memphis, the capital of ancient Egypt, and is home to more than a dozen pyramids, including Egypt's oldest, the Pyramid of Djoser. The wooden coffins, which date back to the New Kingdom period between the 16th and 11th century BC, were found at depths of 40 feet. Thankfully, the site has yielded thousands of artifacts over the decades of excavation, but among the biggest rewards for Egyptologists in these late discoveries was the identity of a queen who died around 4,200 years ago. Her tomb was discovered at a site adjacent to the Pyramid of King Teddy, the first pharaoh of the 6th dynasty, an era known as the Age of Pyramids. Other finds from the site include numerous wooden funerary masks, a shrine dedicated to the god Anubis, and games that were buried with the dead to keep them busy in the afterlife. Egypt Henge Located deep in the desert, this stone circle holds astonishing details of ancient Egyptian astronomy. It's the origin, then it provides the earliest signs of Egyptian civilization. It's called the Napta Playa and is unique not only for its age but also the ancient astronomy coded into these stone alignments. Research has revealed that the Napta Playa complex dates before pre-dynastic Egyptian history. It could be evidence of the first Egyptian civilization to use astronomy. Today, researchers can estimate the night sky as it would have looked at the time Napta Playa was inhabited. Using this data, at the time of sunrise on the spring equinox, they found a correct match for the rising of the stars indicated by their corresponding stone. For the ancients, just before the sun appeared on the horizon, the star relative to its stone would have risen perfectly overhead. Comparative research indicated that the indigenous inhabitants may have significantly more advanced knowledge of astronomy and mathematics than previously thought possible. For lost ancient civilizations, the knowledge of the movements of the stars were held in the utmost importance, and clearly, for the Egyptians, this was very true. <laughs> Hidden Chambers the Great Pyramid of Giza stands over 450 feet tall and was for a very long time the tallest human-made structure in the world. But recently, scans of this monument detected a major void in the structure, the first and only known chamber of its kind. Using particles called muons, scientists detected the 100-foot space, as big as a plane, above the pharaoh's chambers. It's the only one still largely intact and is believed to have been constructed more than 4,500 years ago. Why, though? The construction may have been unfinished, and that's why the Great Pyramid Void might exist. But there are other theories too. More likely, the empty space served as engineering purposes for the architects. Could have been an internal ramp during construction or intended as a means of lessening the load borne by the three known chambers, the King's Chamber, the Queen's Chamber, and the Grand Gallery. Although that might not sound as exciting as a secret burial chamber, this would be the first evidence of the use of a ramp inside a pyramid, which gives us a really important insight into how those huge bricks were put into position and how pyramids were constructed. <laughs> tomb of the Silver Pharaoh The royal tomb of the pharaoh is one of the most spectacular of all the ancient Egyptian treasures even more remarkable than that of Tutankhamun. The tomb of the Silver Pharaoh, the ruler of the 21st dynasty who reigned from 1036 to 989 BCE, is surely one of the most underrated discoveries in Egypt. But up till now, there was little known about the ruler who governed Egypt more than 3,000 years ago during one of its most difficult periods. So why hasn't the world heard about it? What mysteries does it contain? The kings and pharaohs of ancient Egypt surrounded themselves with treasures, mostly fashioned from gold. This was not so much out of motives of greed, but because they believed that the proximity of gold would ensure that pharaohs would receive the gift of eternal life. One of the most spectacular discoveries inside the crypt was the exquisite silver sarcophagus of the pharaoh himself. As far as we know, this is the only time a pharaoh's mummy was entombed in silver. However, the artifacts remained vaulted and unstudied until now. A team of experts can finally decode clues and piece together forensic evidence left behind by the silver pharaoh himself, whose lost legacy could rewrite Egyptian history. Lost City of Atlantis It was the envy of the world, teeming with life, energy, and ruled by leaders with plans of world domination. Welcome to Atlantis. If the legends are true, this was the place where kings became gods in secret ceremonies and where the Trojan prince Paris brought the kidnapped Helen of Troy. Then, more than 1,200 years ago, the earth moved and the city of Atlantis was swallowed by the sea. For hundreds of years, this ancient world existed only in legend. 
but an unlikely explorer turned myth into reality. After searching for years by screening the vast area off the coast of Egypt, an archaeologist and his team saw something emerge from the watery shadows, completely submerged four miles off the coast. Built around its grand temple, the city was crisscrossed with a network of canals, a kind of ancient Egyptian Venice, and its islands were home to small sanctuaries and homes. Among the underwater ruins were 64 ships, 700 acres, a treasure trove of gold coins, statues standing at 16 feet, and most notably the remains of a massive temple, and the tiny tombs for the animals that were brought there as offerings. The ruins and artifacts made from granite and diorite are remarkably preserved and give a glimpse into what was one of the great port cities to ever have existed. This is the part where you like and subscribe, even share with your friends, and stick around for more great videos. Just like ancient Egypt, there was a lot more left to discover. Mm-hmm.